Hi, this is Doug Schneider. Welcome back to Real Hi-Fi. This is my fourth video about Lawrence Dickey and his technologies that you can find in Vivid Audio Speakers. The first three videos were on the tapered tube technology. This is on something different, what are called force canceling woofers or what he likes to call reaction canceling woofers. Here's what he had to say. So Lawrence, we're back. We're off the tapered tubes now. That's what we did in the previous three videos. We're going to talk about force canceling drivers, yeah. but particularly woofers, right? And these are used in many of the Vivid models. Tell us what they do and what's the benefit. Right. Well, we tend to refer to them as reaction canceling. Okay. And the point is that uh, in any ordinary moving coil driver, the force that propels the code in one direction acts in the opposite direction on the magnet. And if that magnet and the chassis is connected to coupled to the uh, cabinet, the enclosure shell, it will excite structural modes in the shell. Because it's sitting there vibrating on the shell. Absolutely. Shell, just yeah. transferring the energy into it. Yeah. So for mid and high frequency drivers, it's sufficient to just mount the thing on silicone O-rings. In fact, it's extremely effective. Kind of like a suspension. Yeah. But when it comes to the bottom end, the low frequency, the softness that would be required to decouple the driver successfully would mean that it would actually be quite difficult to hold the driver in the cabinet. But there is a solution which is both completely effective in eliminating the reaction forces and actually at the same time uh, allows the drivers to be supported mechanically quite easy. And as I say, that we call that reaction cancelling. And that my simple little demo is to hold these two masses and they represent the cone. The woofer cones. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, if you imagine two two drivers on the front of a cabinet, and if I move these two cones, you'll see the, the way in which my body reacts to the force is shaking me around. It's basically, that's what yeah. resonance is of a loudspeaker enclosure. Yeah. 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 If I now move them in opposition, you'll see that the reaction force is completely cancelled. My body stays completely still. Okay. Yeah. And you can probably feel that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's actually relatively comfortable, and that's decidedly not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's a technique that, of course, has been used in all sorts of uh, engineering pieces over the years, uh, classic uh, Ferraris and BMW engines. But way back, uh, the Harrison chronometer used effectively a system of uh, force-cancelling pendulums um, to allow the thing to keep accurate time as it sailed the high seas. So, yes, it's a, a reliable and totally effective technique. Now, there's one more thing. Your drivers are actually tied together, and there, there's a there's a bar between them. So it's not just mounted on opposing sides of the cabinet, but connected mm. between them. Is That's that right. important? Oh, I, well, yes. I mean, you you need to connect the two uh, magnet assemblies mechanically firmly to fulfill that reaction cancelling, yes. Okay, good. Very informative. Thank you, Lawrence. Pleasure. What I didn't mention in those other videos is that I love that Lawrence always demonstrates his technology, he finds a way to show how it works. Now, his hands effectively show how the reaction canceling concept works. But what I can tell you is it does translate into real life. It really works like that. Now, the S12 does not have reaction canceling woofers. It has a single mid-range woofer. But I encourage you to seek out a Vivid Audio speaker with reaction cancelling woofers and play it and play it loud. I think you're going to be amazed at how much energy those woofers pump out, but how still the cabinet remains. And the result is a super clear sound. And that's not all. We do have another technology to talk about in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.